I'd like a teacher who would be fair, cooperative, funny but not too over the top, like has a few jokes but not really, really silly. I like someone who like, doesn't just give you work, they actually make you learn. I would like our, my teacher also to be inspirational <coughs> and um, exciting and happy and joyful. I would like a teacher to be very fun, sensitive, happy, inspirational. Yeah, I think the most important value I, I'd see is uh, that they care for the child and they understand the child. And I think every child has a different personality, so I think they've got to be able to adapt to those children and their needs and uh, provide them with some great education. I'd like a teacher who really works with my children as individuals, who is energetic, slightly sports-minded and just is passionate about educating. I like being in a Catholic school because you do different lessons. Um, you do religion, which you don't usually do at other schools. You also get to go to Mass, so if you can't go to Mass on a weekend, you can do it in school. It's a saint school. It's a school that believes in Jesus and they know a lot about God and, and they have Bibles and stuff. So when we go back home we can tell our mums and dads that if they don't know it, we can tell them about Jesus and God. If something happens in the class, if there's a problem or if there's a little fight going on, the teacher will get us all to sit down in a circle and we have a thing called circle time. You can have your own say without anyone else interrupting. So you say what you want to say and then you can pass it on. Since you're doing it in the class, you feel that you should make it better. So at the end of it, you go and say sorry and you might, you might give them a hug and say, can we be back to friends now? And I'm really sorry and then give them a hug. When I first decided to come out to the country, I applied through the Diocese of Wilcannia Forbes and it was a big step for me because I've come from Nelson Bay, so a little coastal town up past Newcastle, so that was a big change to come out to the country. I guess the hardest thing uh, moving away is obviously moving away from your family, but I've, I soon discovered in probably one or two weeks of being here that there's a real sense of community and belonging here in Hay and everyone really just accepts you in as family so it, it makes that transition from moving you know nine hours away from your home a lot easier. Anybody thinking of teaching in a small rural town should just do it. I think that um, sometimes the fear overtakes you and you're not really sure but I think that once you get here and once you meet the children and the staff out in the country areas as well as the, the people um, and the social life, like there's lots of social activities going on like in Hay or around Hay as well. Just put all those fears aside and just do it. <laughs>